What's up YouTube? This video is brought to you by Webull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get two free stocks, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris saying if you're new here, I make videos on personal finance, how to invest and build wealth through the stock market. I started this Robin Hood challenge for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to simplify investing for those that wanted to invest but didn't quite know how. And number two, I wanted to show you guys in real time the companies I invest in to grow my portfolio from $0 to 10K and then eventually from 10K to 100K. So feel free to join me on the journey by grabbing some stock using my free link below or sit back and watch. Either way, I appreciate you. Today's video is about what to do with Genius. 15 has came and went. Some of you might have profited. Some of you didn't do nothing. Some of you might have lost. And so today I wanted to jump on here, man, and as new and beginner investors, give you guys some game on how the stock market work as you guys are getting your feet wet. Before we jump into that, let's take a look at my portfolio. As you can see on the day, my portfolio is currently sitting at $30,409.91. On the day, we're down $200. On the week, we are up a little over 1.5%. On the month, we are up over 9%. If I take you guys three months out, we're up almost 30%. And if I take you guys one year out, or when I started this account, we are up 10%. Today I want to talk to you guys about genius. As new investors, this is a good experience for you guys, man. Some of y'all wasn't investing in 2008, so you ain't never been through a recession. Some of you weren't investing at the end of 2018, so you didn't see that massive drop. For some of you guys, this is a great learning opportunity. Here it was. Genius had this announcement that on June 15th, they were going to announce the launching of a new cartoon channel. And as stock investors, as retail investors, many of us holding the stock was thinking that that day was going to create a spike of some sort in the stock price. Now to give Genius credit, but this is the game I wanna teach you guys. Genius did go up 16% on that day. 16% in any other case is a whole lot. However, it ended the day up 9%. But the danger of investing in penny stocks or these low level stocks is a 16% day on a low level stock doesn't do much. I didn't even see personally Genius hit $5. I did not see Genius crack the $5 mark. If Facebook went up 16%, it's a huge day. If Apple went up 16%, that's a hell of a day in the market. And so that's one thing I want you guys to start paying attention to. Some of these stocks that you guys put a lot of energy to, what are they doing on their good days? Like I often say, man, when you get the stock matters. Now, if you got the stock at 70 cent and it shoots up to two dollars and you have 500 shares by all means man you have made a killing okay if you got the stock at 50 cent and it shoots up to four dollars and you got 5,000 shares again by all means you have made a killing but genius kind of showed us how one we can't rely on the stock market two we can't always bank on good news meaning something good for the stock Yes, it did do good that day. However, didn't do enough where if you were invested at $4, going to $4.99 didn't do much for your portfolio. And it only helped out the ones that were invested at the much lower entry point. And that's why I always talk to you guys about it's important of where you guys buy these stocks at. Sometimes, man, the fear of missing out have you chasing prices. And so you're buying in extra high when the stock has no chance of getting back to that point. And so that's why you have to really focus on these plays, man, that I'm presenting to you on where you get in at. That's the whole point if you're gonna play this game. Now, if you a long-term investor like myself, I can care less what genius does. I'll make a killing off that stock and every other stock. However, I'm not chasing a short flip. I'm not trying to be a day trader or a swing trader. And so that's what you guys got to think about. You guys have to distinguish. Are you a trader? Or are you an investor? Investors are looking to hold. We buy low. We hold. We, we, we make good investments. We invest in good companies. Traders are the reason why you guys can't make a profit off of stocks like Genius because they've been doing it a lot longer than you guys. So they know how to, again, remember I told you guys the term pump and dump. They know how to get in low, pump the stock way up, hurry up and take all their money out and then leave you holding it. And so 
until you master that game, if that's what you want to be in, you will continue to have different experiences with different low level penny stocks like that. However, for longer term investors, when you get into a position like that, you get your 125 shares to 500 shares and you just sit back and you just you just sitting back and you letting the stock do what it does over time because I have no expectation for genius right now. I have no expectation, even though it could hit on its August 17th uh, earnings report date, it could do something on that date, but I'm not caring one way or another because when you get into those type of stocks or any other type of stocks I introduce you guys to, the long-term play always works out. Meaning it could be three today, it can go up to $6, $9, $12, $15. Over time, you forget about the stock and now it's all of a sudden $15. And so again, that's the difference between investing with the long-term outlook versus jumping online every single day, opening up your brokerage account and hoping the stock shoots up and down. And that's what caused anxiety. So listen, man, I'm just hoping that if nothing else, you guys added this experience to your belt. You put this little notch in your belt and say, you know what, man, I now see my first experience or my or 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 one of many experiences with these kind of stocks, man. It didn't do what I thought it was going to do. However, the stock market is not predictable. The stock market. No, everybody could have been looking for the 15th and lo and behold, it might pop on the 21st. It might pop on a random day. You guys ain't even thinking about it. So again, it's all about your strategy. If you're in it to get in and get out, you may hit or miss. But if you're in it and you just got a strategic vision for how you plan the stock, then you have a greater chance of a huger upside. So listen, man, I just wanted to put that on you guys today. I wanted to, again, use this as a learning experience for all of us, because again, no matter who you are, whether you're a vet or whether you're a newbie, you can't predict what's going to happen with any of these stocks. Uh, Understanding the fundamentals, you can kind of know the long term prospect. I hope that was helpful. Now it's time for our question of the day. Guys, make sure if you got a question, you drop it in my comments below and I'll add it to my next video. Today's question comes from Sean NG. He said, I'm stuck between becoming a swing trader or a dividend investor. Any advice for someone just starting out? Man, great question. I appreciate your transparency and your honesty most and foremost. Check this out, man. As a guy that helps people with the stock market, I see this every single day. I hear people say they want to build wealth, but their actions show me that they want to be a swing trader. I hear people say they want to retire early or they want to lead a third shift job or they want to lead a factory, but their actions is that of a swing trader. A trader and an investor are two different things, man. We come into the stock market with a whole different mindset. If you guys go look at my $30,000 portfolio video, I break down my entire portfolio for you. And if you see the quality of stocks that's in that versus somebody that's in and out of a stock every single day, there's levels. There is levels to quality stocks versus stocks that's going bankrupt. Okay. And if you really want to build wealth, it's important that you at some point make the transition. I'm not going to be that guy that ever bash you. I'm going to walk alongside you. If y'all want to trade, I'm going to teach you how to trade. If y'all want to trade options, I'm going to teach you how to trade options. However, my goal is to get you to matriculate from that low level penny stock trading twos and fuse here and there to seeing us that invested in Tesla at 180 and then we see it shoot up to uh, $1,000 and you see the difference that does to your portfolio versus something else. So Sean, I appreciate the question, man. Listen, I make videos like this every week. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you grab some free stock using my link below and I'll see you guys in the next one.